Charles Moman here. Would you like to see some additions and modifications that runaway owners have made to their camper? Welcome to episode one of a three-part series of some new interviews that I filmed this year at the second annual homecoming rally. The video I did last year has become very popular on my channel, so I decided to do it again. I hope you get a lot of great ideas. Well, you know, we just learned as we went along. We bought a lot of stuff when we first got it, and we sent it back to Amazon on the way back from Florida. <laughs> because we, I guess I would encourage people to just wait till you get yeah, it and get a feel down. for it. Yeah. I know you're excited, and we were too. I think the best one of the things is we like is the uh, the I have my extra sheets under mm -hmm. here that Ron, my husband, just made this, mm -hmm. and then it has the metal legs on it, and it's two pieces of plywood, and then we had our mattress made. Uh, we have a place in our area that made our bedroom mattress, and so we gave them the dimensions, and they made that for us. Mm -hmm. And I had the fitted sheets made on Etsy. There you go. And I sent her the dimensions, and she's made me a couple sets, which That's is what fine. I've heard. And for you CPAP users, we've tried it everywhere. Uh -huh. Up there, down here, mm -hmm. here is the best place. And you, you just put it right oh. there, and it plugs in up at the top, and the hose is long enough, it runs up the side. Excellent. That is the easiest way. We've tried it everywhere. We even had a little shelf belt, but this works the best for us, and you can fill it really easily. So and then Ron just got this cheap. It was like $2 at our um, local, like, Lowe's and Menards. Uh -huh. And he put it in, and he put the metal legs on it. Excellent. All right. And, and what that. is going on down here? That's our fireplace. It's a little electric heater, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Okay. And, uh, you know, and yeah. then these little things you can get at Camping World and they plug in. Right. And they are great. In fact, uh, they're over $20 a piece at Camping World and you can get them at Costco, two of them in a package for $18. Okay. And you plug them in to recharge them. And as long as the beads are yellow, yeah. you're good. You don't have any moisture so, in it. So what's the name of it? Because people are going to ask me. They are called. Ever dry. Okay. Got them at our local, it's a Menards, like Lowe's, Home Depot, and they just stick on there, here, and we've never there, had yeah. any problems, and they are great. Yeah. Well, this is just a plug he bought, and uh, what I like about it is it, it has uh, caps caps on all of the, uh, where you plug it in, yeah. and it's just great. So. And it's made by Rigid. Yes. And you can get it anywhere, Home Depot, yes. Lowe's. And at, uh, at uh, Costco and I looked at it and I said well that modification a simple cut of the metal framing could make this oh flush. I didn't notice the frame yeah, metal could frame flush this with the back wall how cool and uh, I found it to be very useful to uh, fit in there and uh, and uh, so that's what I utilize slide one in and out just to show just grab one of oh, them and pull okay. in and out yeah. yeah just in and out there you go you know, cool uh, if I'm running the air conditioning do you remember room. roughly what this cost you roughly uh, this, is, this is about sixty dollars yeah yeah the frame and all yeah there you go Great yeah. option. Well, i didn't want to put anything permanent in here yes because i also use the trailer to haul some things right furniture things like that so i got the rear door but so this is easy out if i would need to take it right out. what have you done uh i have a cot Mm -hmm. and a cushion underneath here and I sleep up and I have no problem getting in and out of it. Yeah, it's up pretty high. It's higher than most people. So you, do you feel claustrophobic? No, not at all. I know some people would, but you know, that's why we adjust and do things the way we want. No, I can sit up. Yeah. No, I don't have any problem. And so you have storage underneath. Yeah, and a lot of storage too, right. I might. Yeah, we got the roof racks because we carry kayaks. The because the Range Runner comes with two doors. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah, two doors and two windows. We thought about doing a back window. We love the back window. Yeah, we like the light from the back window. And the air. Yeah, that we needed the storage. Yeah. So we thought, well, easier to get to things. Let's go with that. Yeah. So you got a craftsman oh, box. The, yeah. Um, How's that? How is this? How is this craftsman mounted? You have oh, bolts going through? Yeah, coming up through the frame. 
Okay. I had to add because it's an open. It opens out yeah. straight out. Oh, okay. So I had to actually add three eighths inch bar uh, on top of the frame to bring it up high enough so that the door would open. Yeah. Completely. Otherwise, it it would hit the bottom okay. there. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. How much weight does that add? Just the box. The box is about 20 to 24 pounds. Okay. So it was very light. Yeah. Was picked up at low. Yeah. No, it's a great place to put the propane. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen one. First time one I've seen that it's opened down like mm -hmm. that because it's an issue with the yeah, that's what AC. We figured Perfect. when we bought it, we wanted to get something open sideways because of that. So instead of the cubbies, we bought these storage container um, shelving units yeah. from Target. So this is a three-piece unit. Typically people have them upright. And this is a six-piece. Six okay. However, it's too high in here, so we cut about an inch and a half off of these three upright pieces. Okay. Okay. And then we replaced the yeah. base. Yeah. I flipped it over. These boxes are not the full size. And so that's, this is the stock shelf. Yeah, this and is then the you've got little system. baskets so that lip mm -hmm. holds things in. Yep. And then we wanted a countertop. Yeah. So we got this at Lowe's. This is just the same kind of material that you'd buy for like a laundry room shelf. Yeah. And we cut it off at the end. We use the extra part to make this upright to help support it. And we put some supports in here underneath. Show you how this works. We got this idea off of, yeah. I think, the video you did last yeah, year. Yeah, it just hangs on there. And so you take it obviously there. down when you're driving. Yep. Yeah, we just lay it on the bed. Yeah. And put like blankets on top okay. of it. Well, speaking of the bed, let's okay. see what we got here. What, what is okay. this a queen? Yes. So what I did is I bought a queen foam bed off of Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. It was like hundred and eighty dollars or so. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those that comes in a bag. So to make it fit, um, in a, an actual queen size, this would be the head. Mm -hmm. So I cut ten inches off the end just okay. using an electric carving knife, yeah. which was another idea. I yeah. The runaway uh -huh. Facebook page. And I took that 10 inches and I made it into a bolster and it actually sits on a board. Now, the idea was that we could use that to extend the size of the bed. Mm -hmm. So, what you do is underneath the bed yeah. is where we have yep. our clothes. And you would pull these out and lay the bolster on top of that and we sleep with our heads yeah. at that end and it's basically a king size bed. And then when my husband did the exterior lighting, Yes. Um, he just put this little conduit. conduit. Yeah. That is called a stove hinge, but it was all the hinges are made from the metal itself. It, yeah. Uh, it's and it folds flat down to nothing. Throw little pieces of wood in there. Yeah, okay. and you can feed them from this side. Oh, I'll come so around once the fire is going. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it has air coming in from the bottom here. All right. So let me get the name there. S T O V E hinge. Okay, well that is pretty neat. So yeah. you just bring little pieces of wood like I do yeah. with my little solo yeah. stove. Well, there's a nice option. So you've got a black stone as you're running that with your propane. People yeah. always like to see how people are. And have you been happy with this? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Yep. It takes up some space, but it's good space to take up. Yeah. yeah I, I put it all in a Rubbermaid tub. Things. Okay. Not nothing major. Mm -hmm. I put a cot in instead of a, a air mattress. Mm -hmm. And that way I have the cot. It's got this mattress underneath. Right. And then I have all my food and supplies storage underneath there. Right. Great. And I put a little refrigerator in. Back here is for my clothes and things. I also get this table. Okay. It oh, yeah. It's right up into a little... Compact is what we test. want. Right. And so she's got the Contico box uh, mounted here. And that's a, a great way to, to do storage. So you just got it. You're the new owners here. but uh, yes. So, we came here with just our tents and sleeping bags. Right. And an air mattress. But the air mattress, uh, I, I actually might keep the air mattress. Yeah. Because it doesn't weigh anything. But just real quickly, all we had to buy is these crates. Mm -hmm. And we have all our storage. Got nice. that heater has a thermostat on it. Okay. Nice. Yeah, okay. So a little ceramic heater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we have all our air air conditioning yeah. and everything. See, you, you, all the comforts of home. Oh. That's it. It's just that easy. We yeah. Just, these storage boxes. That's well, thank good. you so much. Thank you. Have a great life with it. Oh, thanks. Yes. Sure.
Well, <coughs> this is just a, a regular railing that you can buy for RVs to hang stuff on the side of your camper. I built a floating box shelf. That's the uh, railing that attaches that. Mm -hmm. And it just hopefully will go on smoothly. Because you just made it. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. And you're going to put your cups on there? Right. Put my lantern out here. Oh, man. And uh, a coffee. Boom. Got to have my coffee press. Yep. And of course, my coffee mug.